Hey guys! So recently I was asked to do a Lush Leave it or, Love It or Leave It video on the Comforter Bubble Bar. And this is what it looks like. It's just a bright hot pink color and it has a white swirl in it. The front of it doesn't really have the swirl but <laughs> the back does. And it's just a really nice bubblegum smelling um, bubble bar. And it's one of their um, bigger ones. This is one that I just got from a, a wrapped gift. And so it's kind of discolored but you can see how... Um, Sorry, how huge they are when they first come. So I cut off a chunk to use for a bath out of this one, but that's um, the one I'm going to use. And I'm just going to read to you what the website says about the Comforter Bubble Bar. It says, this pink and white swirly bar resembles a rolled up scarf ready to wrap you in warmth and comfort. The fruity black currant fragrance comes from the Cassis Absolute. We love this delicious scent so much that we put it in You Snap the Whip, um body butter, sweetie pie shower jelly, and of course the comforter solid perfume. Inhale it and it feels like you're getting a big yummy hug. This one is big enough to be broken in half for two baths. Okay, two baths, I would say that would be um, the, uh, the amount you could get out of this bubble bar for like one of those huge garden tubs. Um, or one like Jamie has, uh, BAM1282. She's really nice. You should check out her videos. But anyway, um, I think that I could get at least four baths out of just one bar easily. So I would say don't um, waste the bubble bar just, just because you think it's not going to last you. It will. And besides, this bar makes tons of bubbles. So you don't really need that much. Today I'm just going to show you how it works in the sink. Um, so I'm not going to be using as big of a chunk as I normally do. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Let me stop up my sink. Move you over there. Okay. I'm going to take a chunk about that big. So just a little triangular corner piece. Cut that off. And I'm just using, I just used a, um, my regular soap cutting knife. It's just a regular, sorry, can't see. Um, it's just a regular butter knife. So this is the chunk that I'm going to be using. It's fairly small, but you'll see how many bubbles you can get out of this small piece. So first, I just run, start running some water, and then as the water runs, I begin to just mush it up in my hand. And I like to get a, a lot of powder in my hand before I actually run it under the water. So I grind it up really finely. You could do this before you start running the water too. I, this is just how I do it. And if you don't grind it up um, very finely, you'll just end up with um, clumps at the bottom of your um, bath. So this is why I do that. And then I just start letting them go underneath the water. Turn up the water so you can actually see the bubbles that it makes. And you can see this awesome, bright, pink, bright, hot, pink bath water that it makes. And it's really skin softening. So, and it smells delicious, like bubble gum and berries. And this is just in a sink. All these bubbles are just in a sink. If you can imagine that in your bath with a, a bigger piece, you can see that it's going to make tons of bubbles. So really thick, really nice bubbles. And then there's the water. Nice, bright, hot pink. So fun. So girly. So if you're looking to have just a girl's night in and really pamper yourself, um, you could do this. Also, you could soak your feet in this um, before a pedicure. I got that idea from Lapook. She's one of my favorites uh, here on YouTube. Uh, her channel is L-E-P-O-O-K-E. -O -O -E, so you can go check her out too. But um, just a really nice soak. It's very skin softening like I said. And it's just a really fun, girly um, bubble bath. So um, that's what I had to say about the um, Comforter Bubble Bar. And I would definitely say love this product. Definitely go get it. It's worth the money. And... Um, yeah, so enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.